I'm Danny Davis from 951 The Wild wow Factor. I've got Wayne Corini here, who is, uh, is this one of the cars that you restored? No, I bought this this way. This was uh, restored and built by the Rad Rods by Troy and uh, Troy Tapanier. Sure. And one of the best builders in the country, if not the best. That's a little, yeah. you know, people can argue that. But um, this was a fabulous car built for George Poteet, who's, uh, who's the land speed record holder for a piston-driven car at 478 miles an hour. Slow down, George. Yeah, well, he is slowing down a little <laughs> bit now. <laughs> You've gotten into television and all sorts of different media. When you started restoring, did you have any idea you were going to do that? No idea at all. You know, my dad uh, restored cars for a living when I was growing up. I didn't want to do what he did because he worked so many hours every week. Um, but uh, I got an education, an art, art uh, education. Sure. And I couldn't find a job I wanted. I went back to work for dad, and here we are. Okay. And, and so it's, it's taken off. It's been a great life. I had the opportunity about 18 years ago to, to jump on board with a new TV show, show called Chasing Classic Cars. Uh, we've done uh, 218 episodes of that. We're in 100 countries. My voice is dubbed in 38 languages now. And it just took off. It became a huge thing uh, all around gosh. the world. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. What is your favorite car to play with? The next one. The next one. <laughs> yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, you know, I've got a lot of cars. And, and so, you know, it's like asking which is your favorite child. You yeah. Know? Um, but, yeah, this is a fabulous car. But um, this was put in a trust for my autistic daughter. And, okay. and so we uh, just purchased a home for her oh. to live in the rest of her life uh, with an aide. So this car is going to fund that. And so uh, we're starting as, as we grow a little older to make sure there's enough money in that trust to fund for her for the rest of Take her life. Take care of business for the family. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now you have uh, all these folks that surround you because you've gotten yourself famous subconsciously. You didn't do it on purpose. No. But you've gotten famous because of this stuff. What exactly do you want to do next? You want to just continue doing the restoring? So what we're doing, yeah, I've got a restoration shop, so we're sure. very busy there in car sales business at 40 Motorsports where we buy and sell cars. Um, I'm doing a new TV show called The Classic Bid where we analyze uh, automobile auctions, sort of like Meekum. We analyze oh, yeah. what's being sold and what the marketplace looks like. I'm doing a podcast uh, called uh, Talking Classic Cars with Jay Ward from Pixar Studios. And we're doing a new TV show, Carini's Garage, where uh, you'll see we renovate people's garage and turn them into man caves. Do you so, do you sit down with guys and figure stuff like this out? No, it's all it's all it just right comes here. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just comes out of nowhere. It comes out of nowhere. You are. Uh, a, a I just got to keep moving. Yeah, gotta keep moving. That's my grandfather gave me a big. The biggest thing he told me was keep moving. It's hard to hit a moving target. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne Carini, I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much for joining being us here. at Martin uh, Auto Museum. It's a great place to be. It really is. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. The Wow Factor.